I'm backing up my truck, I'm gonna hook it up, loading up my boat with all my gear. I've been working hard all week, trying to make ends meet, spending time wishing I was fishing. Oh, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. Gather up your gear and come along. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. This is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond as we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. Hey, we just got off the lake. As you can see, it's dark, but everybody wants to get that one more fish. We didn't want to quit. We're Lake McConaughey. We were spooning for walleyes. I'm with Charlie Black. Thanks, Terry. Dave Evenden. Terry. Richard and Bill Doris. Yep. And Charlie and Dave have been on the show before, and they're kind of fishing buddies and friends, but I don't want to get carried away with that. <laughs> but we had a great time out here today. We were deep spooning these walleyes. It's late. We want to go get something to eat and go home. So I tell you what, why don't you join us out on the lake and see just what we did, and we're going to go get something to eat. Well, I'll tell you, what a beautiful day. You know, I think one of the, a couple reasons fall is my favorite time to fish is one, it's, uh, well, the fishing is good. You catch big fish in the fall. But another one is uh, the average weekend anglers have put their stuff away for the year. And a lot of the hardcore fishermen are hunters too. So they've hung up their fishing rods to go hunting and a lot less crowded on the water. It airs a little brisk in the morning, but it feels good. And I tell you what, it's just what a beautiful day. <laughs> Who got one? The Charlie's got one. Feel pretty good, Charlie? Mm -hmm. Whoa, look at that. You need a net? I might. You might. Huh? I suppose you can't handle this alone, so I gotta quit fishing and net your fish. Well, well, let me right. get over here and help you. There we go. Oh, that's not a bad fish for you. <laughs> Thanks. Get them on hooks from there. Watch those hooks. Yeah. McConaughey walleye. Way to go, Charlie. Thank you. Take your fish off. I'm going to go fish. Thanks. Any size? No, it feels about like that last one. Maybe a little bigger. That's hard to tell, you know. They pull them and they're down they that deep way and they're all nice. They're all nice. Yeah, he's a, that's a pretty nice fish there, Terry. Let's see, let's see. Let's hang him up here. That's a good fish there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Boy, that's a fat, healthy walleye. That's a nice fish. Well, get him out. He's going to get tangled in the net here. Get him untangled. Oh, that's, that's bigger than the last one. Yeah, Charlie. I think it is. That's quite a bit bigger. Boy, where are those hooks, Terry? They're razor sharp. Where are these fish when I'm in a tournament? Yep. He you got your pliers? Yeah, uh, he's he... about, I got pliers down in here, but I about got him, I think, here. Maybe he's if hung I... in your boat there. Oh, he's hooked, hooked into the hook, he's in the boat. Oh. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna need pliers for yeah. this one. They should be in this, in mm -hmm. here. Yeah. All right, there we go. Here we get them out. Nice fish. I'll let you get the lure out of the net. Okay, thank you. Sure. Lake McConaughey walleye. What do you think? That's about 18, 17. It's golden rule right by you. Let's check. Let's it. Take a look. We'll see how big he is. Oh, he's a... He's 20. That's a 20-inch fish. 20-inch walleye, Lake McConaughey. Way to go, Charlie. Thank you. Good job. Oh. 
All right. Flea fly spoon, you know, I was dropping it down. I wasn't even, I was 10 feet off bottom when he hit it. It's not as big as yours, it's a little smaller, but I'll get him in here. I don't think I have to net him, I can just grab him. I say, I hope you don't need this net. I still, an, oh, I let him, he got away. <laughs> See what happens? Yeah, it's my fault, Terry, I'm sorry. I should have been Charlie ready had for the, you. Um, Charlie had the net tangled with his lure. If we take a look over here, you'll see that. You can blame me. But um, in all honesty, it was a smaller walleye. I probably would have hand landed him anyway, flipped him in the boat. And we're gonna catch a lot of fish. So it's just fun to get them on. It's, uh, I love spooning jigs. It's just a great way to fish. And it, camera boat driver gets a fish. I'll tell you what, there's no respect on this show. Nobody cares. Looks like a good fish, Dave. Taking line? Walleye? Is a wa nice walleye? You want us to come over or get the front? Grab the net, we'll get over close. We'll come over close, see if we can help you net them. Oh, no. oh yes! Oh, no! Is that, is that, is that, is that your tournament partner that did that? No, that's Mr. Net. We call it Mr. Net. Best fish of the day. Charlie, I'll do the net from now on. There he is. That's a little one, Charlie. Yeah. It can't be over 18 inches. I'm getting good at unhooking your fish. You gonna get me all tangled up in the net again? I'm probably gonna. Where's the players? Well, here we go. Here we go. Come on, man. That's right. Yeah, net. can you net it for me? <laughs> I'll net it. I'll see if I can do better netting than your last guy that tried to net one for you did. <laughs> it's too bad we're not turned towards the camera so Charlie could see what how you're supposed to net these. Sure. Here's about a five pounder. Here we go. Did you see how that Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That's It's McConaughey walleye. That's a, what do you think? Probably 22. Where's the golden rule? Right under there. It's only an 18 inch of a little guess. Guess long. Oh, yeah, that's about 22 inches. There you go. 22 inch Lake McConaughey walleye. You know, one of the great things about spring and fall fishing is bigger fish. And spooning just seems to produce some really nice fish. How many, you've been coming out to McConaughey and you guys been out, how many times have you guys fished out here? Probably half a dozen. And you caught big fish almost every time? Yeah, you get, seem to get a couple anyway. And this That's isn't big, I mean, this is just kind of a nice fish. How big are the ones you caught out here? We've caught probably, I don't know, seven, six, seven pounders. Six, seven pounders. And this is probably a three, four pounder. It's a lot bigger than the one Charlie caught. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting him in the side. Nice, ooh. He's uh, ornery. Yeah, he is. He thinks he's big. Good. This nice size, but he's a weightlifter or something. <laughs> he thinks he's stronger than he is. Now pay attention, Charlie. <laughs> oh, you know why he's so strong? You got him hooked in the side. Mm-hmm, that's what I said. It's a little one. Real you, little you one. You let him fight you like you weighed 20, 10 pounds. I'm gonna let well, you take that out. Is. I'm gonna go catch some fish. I'm not messing with that. What you got, Charlie? Charlie, looks like he has a good fish on. Okay, we're in fish now. You really, you want me to net him? What's uh, well, that's the recirculating pump, I guess. Charlie, what is it? How big? Oh, sure, don't knock yours off. 
Yeah, you managed to net that one, I see. Boy, Charlie looks like a nice fish, especially for you. <laughs> Did you measure him? Show the camera, don't show us. We could care less about your fish. Would you like to net it for me? You want a net? Well, see, I don't know how big it is yet or how it's hooked. It might not be that big. No, it's just hooked in the side. It's, well, it's a nice no. fish. It's a good fish. We better net this one. You ready? No. I'll try to knock him off for you. All right. Well, that's a better fish than I thought. Mm -hmm. There we go. Get that net out of there. Here, let me have that. I can't see. <laughs> Probably get the hook right out. Conahe walleyes. That's what we came for. You know, that one's not as long as some of the others, but that's a fat, fat fish. Yeah, he is. I mean, that's probably what, 20 inches? Yeah, 20. 20, 20 inches, but it's just fat. It almost looks like a bass or so fat. You know, there's no reason we're a three and a half, four hour drive out of Denver. There's no reason you can't come over here. This fishing is going to go on until November yet. Or at least, and come here, McConaughey's really turned into a walleye factory again, and spooning is a great way to catch them in the fall. Or any of the lakes that have a good uh, pelagic forage, forage base, get out and spoon some walleyes. I want to put this one back. There it goes. Good fish. Thank you. There you any size? No. You need the net? No, I don't think so. Well, no, I don't need the net. Still nice, chunky. You know what though? It's small compared to what we've been catching, but nice, chunky, eaten size walleye. First one wanted to come here and just take a few home. Need the players, you get it. I got it. Close. There's no lack of your class in this lake, is there? We're catching them all sizes. All sizes. From seven pounds last night up to uh, maybe a 15 incher here. 14 incher. Shows that this lake is really doing well. You know, it wasn't but 10 years ago and people almost quit coming here to fish when the water was low after that long drought period. And uh, now with the water up, fishing has been good again and lots of big fish. And walleyes, stripers, trout, large and smallmouth bass. But what a walleye factory it's been the last few years. I'll tell you what, um, turned into a great evening. The wind died, it's really nice out. Just enjoying it out here, aren't you? Yeah, there's one. Oh, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, it looks like a good fish. Looks like there, there's one too. Double, double. Oh, oh, this one's pretty good. I wonder if mine's bigger. Who's gonna net them? <laughs> Why don't you hand? You are. You're the talented get, one. I'll get the net. I'll get mine because I really think yours is bigger. And. And then I'll try to uh, help you with yours because yours is, looks like a hog. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not a bad fish, though. Get this, get this net out. Hold on. I'll be there with the net in a minute. You know, in a tournament, we'd have netted both of these at the same time and left them in the net just so we wouldn't lose one. But that's such a... It's a... Such a mess when we're fishing for fun. I hate to do that. Oh. Whoa, that's a nice fish. Well, let's hold him nice up. Nice bigger. I think he's quite a bit bigger than mine. Mine's only about 20 inches. Yours looks like. Let's see, hold him up there. 
Okay, so yours is a just, little big. Just a little big. Just a little bit. Good job. Yeah, nice job. Oh man, let's get these taken care of and go back and get some more. Okay. Would you last soon, Charlie, or what? Look at this down here. Mm -hmm. Try to get him to eat it, Charlie. Yeah, it looks like you just wrapped, you had your, your line must have been tangled up, you swam into it. Well, all right, so he's hooked. Way to go, Charlie. Now I gotta say nice things about you. Let me show you what I'm using real quick, and then Charlie, you can show me what you're using. We're using some different spoons. I'm using a jigging spoon, minnow spoon made by Flea Fly. Uh, the owners of Flea Fly are good friends of mine. I've used these particular spoons for different fish all over the country and had really good luck with them. You're using, it's a minnow shaped spoon with a special finish and one set of trebles on it. The way you fish this is you pop it up real quick so that the spoon comes up, turns over flat, and flutters down. You want to just ease it up and down. You want to pop it up, let it, and as it flutters down, it looks like a dying bait fish, and that's when they'll hit. I was letting mine down that time, so it was fluttering the whole way. Now, Charlie, show them what you're using there. This is a Fergie. It's called a Fergie Special. It's got some uh, glass beads and a little piece of brass at the top of it. Gives it a little sound and a little, uh, little easier to find. A little different shape and a little more to it. Got two sets of trebles and some yeah. beads for noise, but both seem to be effective. Yeah.